Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, we're talking about the three pound robot. I believe it's part nine. So where are we at? Well, the robot drives. Drives pretty well, actually, after a few hiccups that got resolved. Um, with our finger tech hardware, it works quite well. We don't yet have a functioning weapon, unfortunately. I have to machine a piece inside the motor before we have a actually functioning weapon. As well as um, we're still missing aluminum sides. We did, however, make the whole body thicker along with thicker sides. Maybe you have a little gap here at the front because of that. But that's where we're at. It drives, the weapon doesn't work. We need one part for that, two parts from the sides, and then we gotta talk about the weight. I know some people don't like to talk about weight, but we gotta. As you can see, 1406. We need to be at 1360. Now, I did do some things that added some weight that I wasn't planning on, like increasing the thickness, as well as adding the extra screws to the weapon. So, you know, it could be worse, but um, 40 grams or so, 50 grams, isn't the worst. I already had planned, as many people commented, to lighten out these plates of aluminum. So my estimated savings for just this one piece out of three would have been somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 grams. So hopefully the weight savings is there. Now we will have be adding weight, unfortunately, by making these sides aluminum and making the part that goes inside the motor. So they might have to be tweaked a little bit um, compared to the thinner sides version. But that's where we're at. Let's take a look inside. Nice micro ratchet, right? weapon speed controller not connected to the weapon motor but it's there we have our finger tech tiny mixer our receiver and i'll take this plate off so we can get a look at the motors man i just really love this micro ratchet See, you can get a good look at the insides there. Now, if any of you follow my Instagram, you'll notice that I posted a picture a while ago when I actually made the modification. There's two motor controllers for the drive motors inside here under this electrical tape. And I cut out a significant chunk out of all six of those motor wires and it ended up being, I think, I'll, I'll put a picture up in the video. I think it ended up being about 18 grams. So that was, a, that was an awesome savings. Unfortunately, those savings have already taken place and we still need more. But as you can see, it's a little tight in here. All the ground wires for the motor controllers get soldered directly to this battery connector. The positive from the battery connector goes to the finger tech micro switch here 
or mini switch. I, I don't really know what they call it. Um, and then the positive from this gets soldered then to the positive of the three motor controllers. Currently, the receiver is being powered from the weapon motor controller. Now I might get a little power supply and feed that from its own power. That's always good. Just in case the weapon speed controller dies, which in robotic combat, it's pretty common for the weapon to go down, more or less because of a speed controller or go down and take the speed controller with it. So that's always a concern right now. Obviously I'm running with it. I'm trying to kind of keep some amount of cost in mind. So we've got four things on the agenda, technically three things. One weapon part, two side rail parts, and then a whole bunch of lightning. And unfortunately for those three parts that I have to machine, actually including the lightning. So for every th single thing I have to do on this robot, I need my CNC mill. And unfortunately, when I was doing um, some work, I was moving my home internet and server setup. I don't have a head, as they call it, on that server. So whenever I do some setup or some tweaking, it, I tend to have to borrow a screen from somewhere. That ends up being my CNC mill. And unfortunately, that screen chose that time to die. Couldn't see any bad capacitors, not worth trying to fix. Once we resolve that, we can get started on some of these parts. Now, obviously, the part that I need to make for this, unfortunately, would be better on a lathe, which I do not have. Um, but we'll make do with a mill and see what happens. Um, I probably will do some tweaking of the sides to try to cut down the weight as much as possible. Um, yeah, until I can mill, kind of stuck on this one. Catch you in the next one.